Time to start July's physical media pickups. And of course, <laughs> it starts with Horror Pack because it came late. It just did. Didn't make it in June. So this is technically July's Horror Pack. We've got The Sadness. Oh, well, The Sadness actually says Horror Pack. So this is a technically a Horror Pack exclusive if you think about it. The Queens of Scream 3 movie pack showing it have with I Know What You Did Last Summer, Vacancy, and When a Stranger Calls. Bad Samaritan. And the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray of Dead by Midnight. Then headed over to Walmart and picked up some DVDs, including this Saw Meets Jaws with Blood in the Water. Uh, some kind of war movie called Iron Cross The Road to Normandy. Spooky thing called Off Season. Some sci-fi Restart the Earth. A Walmart exclusive of Alien Shark with Bonus movie, Jules Verne's Mysterious Island. It says right there. Uh, another war film. This is Shadow Company. I'm surprised that Welgo didn't get this. ITN put it out. And then finally, the only one that doesn't have a slipcover. The Nanny's Night. More to come in July? Pff, of course. Let's check it out right now. July pickups continue with packages! Yes! We got a package from SRS and. Oh! Yes, error 4444. Uh, let's start with that one. Now. I missed out on the <clears throat> first. Well, the initial announcement, which is odd because I had been looking for this. Shadow. Mm -hmm. Looking for this because they announced that they were going to be releasing it and I've been waiting for their announcement that it was going on sale. And <clears throat> apparently they announced it on a, I guess it was a Friday. And I essentially don't do email on the weekends. Look at my face, it's so mm -hmm. So wide. Yeah. And... <laughs> So I missed that and I didn't see it on Facebook and um, by the time I had seen the, you know, like a, somebody has commented on their post or something like that and it came up in my feed again on Facebook, <clears throat> um, it was already sold out. So, you know, they said, I contacted them and they said, you know, well, send us an email and we'll put you on a wait list, but they didn't, weren't really putting me on a wait list. All they were doing was putting me on their email list and they were going to email when the, some were available again. <clears throat> and so, luckily I, you know, got that email and was able to pick up one of the craziest movies anybody will ever see. And that's Funky Forest. Now I have not seen the sequel. Um, the Warped Forest, but I have seen Funky Forest. I saw it the year it came out. <clears throat> Here. And it is absolutely bonkers bizarre. Now, oddly enough, they, there's a soundtrack, which is not in there, so I don't know what that means. And then I also got this little postcardy type thing, which is also not in there. I don't know. But whatever, it is what it is. Let's see if anybody else is unboxing that and such and see if they got it the same way that I did. I don't know. Then, got some stuff from SRS, including The Shroud. Amityville Karen. <laughs> Dragon Lizard Lord Super Monsters, which I believe has two movies Super Monsters and the Hammer of Draco Wrath of Dragons. Um, I don't know. I don't know. 
this, this seems a little weird, I don't know. And then I got Cannibal Tick. Got a little advertising for Night Feeder and Tenna the Horn Monstrosity. And then posters because I got on this as a pre order. I still had it. We got a poster of the Shroud, which is essentially they're just, just the you know cover art. Amity Bill Carey. And Cannibal Tech. So yeah, I'm sure there's going to be more to come in July. Let's check out those things right now. July pickups continue with, first off, some Walmart. We picked up, uh, I think this was like 16 bucks. It is a VVS release on Blu-ray starring Liam Neeson Black Light with the slipcover and then I also picked up this thing it's a Blumhouse video which is not going to Blu-ray for some reason whatever dash cam now this was a little bit pricier considering it's a DVD um, but I kinda had to get it I mean it's a Blumhouse Productions release right mm. Then I also got my oh, shipment from SRS full of goodies, including Octena, the Horned Monstrosity, Silent But Deadly, the Scared Stiff DV Collection the DV Trilogy, if you will, by Evan Jacobs, DV, DV2, and DV3 on DVD. And then, because you know I had to get it, Little Cory Gory. I've, no, I've, no, I've never seen this movie. It's got a signature on it. Um, so I'm looking forward to finally checking that out. And then, of course, they always send you these little things, you know, little advertisement. Things. Honestly, I don't. Know. I don't. I really don't think he should be spending money on them. Maybe he gets gets them for free because he prints out so many of these awesome posters. Yes, antenna there. And what's this one? Well, I'm just gonna be. Oh, silent but deadly. And finally. You know what this is gonna be? Little Cory Gory. Yes. More pickups to come in July? Yeah, I'm sure there are. Let's check them out right now. July pickups continue with packages. Yes, we'll start with the small one. Is that even? Yeah, it says DVD. And the small one is. <laughs> I'm trying to open it like this. And I don't. Whatever. Is some Kino Lorber stuff. Uh, this now, th I'm kind of upset about this order. I ordered this stuff way back in. What was it? April or something when they had their big their last big sale and I waited and I waited and I waited and then maybe the second week of July they sent me an email oh yeah on your order you have these two titles which um, unfortunately they were in our you know get them while you can section and, and they've sold out
so three months later you decide to start fulfilling my order and find out that some of the titles are no longer available is essentially what they're saying then I got another email saying oh well we only one of the titles we can't fulfill um, but we can fulfill the other ones so the price difference is going to be this so it's going to be a credit of I don't know what that I don't know I have to go through it eventually once I, I get everything because this is not the entire order um, <laughs> but yeah I don't know it was a, a whole rigmarole that they sent me emails and credits and and changes and and stuff all within July uh, essentially and I'm, I'm almost positive I placed this order in April so Kino what's going on not to mention that they were sending it from two different locations so I, I have no idea either way let's see what we got here we got trigger junior classic classic western with trigger the and Roy Rogers I mean the trigger and Roy Rogers were like a staple and uh, as far as I know I westerns aren't exactly my forte um, a woman's devotion a strange adventure more Roy Rogers and Trigger with Sunset in the West. Those daring young men and their jaunty jalopies. I can't even remember. There was a reason why I got I think there were some super duper sale for these is why I got them. Tiger by the tail. Because I, I know you're thinking they're looking at them going, those aren't what you would normally be getting. And I, Jane Doe. Yeah, no, they. this is not stuff I would normally have... Um, purchased um, but I believe these were like super duper duper cheap um, like under ten dollars each maybe even under five dollars each so that's why I kind of jumped on these ones um, and went through them they're either gonna be you know things that are, are westerns um, Maybe a, a noir or a thriller. I don't know if that's a noir or a thriller. Um, now this one is uh, a sequel, a comedy sequel, as far as I remember. Uh, and this is has something to do with, it's like a thriller, it's murder and all that kind of stuff. And again, this is similar to that. This is uh, a murder, uh, old, old, old film with some murderous thing going on. But anyways whatever then in the big box here I got a whole whole bunch of stuff um, from DCI because they were also and eventually had a sale in July and it shipped like within two days or something that I placed the order so Kino Lorber three months VCI two days and I got it within less than five business days so there you go so first off some DVDs Young Hannah Queen of the Vampires as far as I know it's only available on DVD then I got the Caveman VT Hamlin and Ali Oop or Ali out of print <laughs> again this is another DVD with some classic cartoonage cartoonage then because I gotta have it in my collection and I don't know I've never seen much of it. Santo El Enmascadero de Plata, The Silver Masked. Eight movie English language box set, which contains Santo in the Wax Museum, Santo in the Treasure of Dracula, Santo vs. the Riders of Terror, Santo in the Vengeance of the Mummy, Santo vs. Frankenstein's Daughter, Santo and Blue Demon vs. Dracula and the Wolfman, Santo and Blue Demon vs. Dr. Frankenstein, Santo and Mantequilla Napoles, and in the Revenge of La Llorona. Then I also picked up Twilight People. And the Basher Box, which contains the Awakened Punch and the Prodigal Boxer. Some awesome martial arts here. Also picked up the Aztec Mummy Collection, which has Curse of the Aztec Mummy. The Robot versus the Aztec Mummy. Uh, wrestling Women versus the Aztec Mummy. 
and uh, some bonus features. So, mummy movies. And then I got this one, a giallo called Puzzle. I've never heard of it. But it has check out that. Just wielding the chainsaw. So it's gotta be good, right? Um, a bunch of other things I picked up. They have a um, classic Mexican cinema line uh, that they had they put out. So I, I picked up uh, La Rebellion de los Colgados, Rebellion of the Hanged. Some of these are actually kind of horror or action or mystery related, so those are all good. Um, I got Night of the Bloody Apes with the bonus feature of Doctor of Doom with the slipcover. Pick that up. Uh, we got Mutiny. 4K restoration of that. That's a classic. Classic pirate type film. Uh, more Mexican movies. These are horror classics with Ladron de Cadaveras, The Body Snatchers, and El Escapulario. I don't know what that is in English. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Lee So Nam's The Leg Fighters. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah. More Mexican <laughs> cinema here with La Baraca. And more Santo with The Treasure of Dracula, the sexy vampire version. Uh, fantastic double feature of Mexican genre classics in English. Batwoman and the Panther Women. Bruce's Deadly Fingers. Bruce Lee is Dynamo. More Mexican with El Bruto. And continuing the Mexican, we got Espaldas Mojadas. I have no idea what these films are, but I gotta got get them because where else are we gonna get Mexican movies? This is, I believe, some Mexican horror with Hasta el Viento, Tiene Miedo, Even the Wind is Afraid. Bella Lugosi is, or in, no, I think he is, the human monster. And finally, Kiss of the Tarantula. Yes. That is a awesome bunch of pickups. I'm sure there's more to come. Let's check it out right now.